calling to order the meeting of the Arlington Select Board. This is May 15th, uh, June 15th, rather, 2020. So the first item on the agenda is the executive order on remote participation. So I'm going to read the preamble. All right. So first of all, let me permit me to confirm that all members and persons anticipated on the agenda are present and can hear me. Members, when I call your name, please respond in the affir affirmative. Diane Mahan. Yes. Joseph Curro. Yes. Stephen DeCourcy. Yes. Len Diggins. Yes. And staff, when I call your name, please respond in the affirmative. Adam Chapdelaine. Tom yes. Hampton. Yes. Douglas Heim, Town Council. Present. And Ashley Mars participating remotely. Good evening. This open meeting of the Arlington Select Board is being conducted remotely consistent with Governor Baker's executive order of March 12th, 2020, due to the current state of emergency in the Commonwealth given the outbreak of the novel coronavirus. In order to mitigate the transmission of the virus and reduce risk of COVID-19 illness, we have been advised and directed by the Commonwealth to suspend public gatherings, and as such, the governor's order suspends the requirement of the open meeting law to have all meetings in a publicly accessible, accessible physical location. Further, all members of public bodies are allowed and encouraged to participate remotely. The order, which you can find posted with agenda materials for this meeting, allows public bodies to meet entirely remotely so long as reasonable public access is afforded so that the public can follow along with the deliberations of the meeting. Ensuring public access does not ensure public participation unless such participation is required by law. This meeting will not feature public comment. Even if members of the public do provide comment, participants are advised that people may be listening who do not provide comment and those persons are not required to identify themselves. For this meeting, the select board is convening by Zoom as posted on the town's website, identifying how the public may join. Please note that this meeting is being recorded and that some attendees are participating by video conference. Accordingly, please be aware that folks may be able to see you and that take care not to screen share your computer. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. Please also take care to adjust your screen or device name if you would like to speak. In order for us to recognize speakers appropriately and develop accurate minutes, it is helpful for participants to see your full first and last name when calling upon you rather than a nickname. All of the meeting materials for this meeting, except any executive session materials, are available on the Novus Agenda Dashboard, and we recommend the members and the public follow the agenda posted on Novus until the chair notes otherwise. Now I'll go over some meeting gr ground rules. We're now turning to the first item on the agenda. Before we do so, permit me to cover some ground rules for effective and clear conduct of our business and to ensure accurate meeting minutes. I will introduce each speaker on the agenda after they conclude their remarks, the chair will go down the line of members, inviting each by name to provide any comment, questions, or motions. Please hold until your name is called. Further, please remember to mute your phone or computer when you're not speaking. Please remember to speak clearly in a way that helps generate accurate minutes. For any reason, please wait until, for any response, please wait until the chair yields the floor to you and state your name before speaking. If members wish to engage in colloquy with other members, please do so through the chair, taking care to identify yourself. Finally, each vote taken tonight will be taken by roll call vote. All right. So now moving to item two and three is our consent agenda. We have a request for a contractor drain layer license for Milestone Excavating and Landscaping LLC 
104 Lancaster Road, Shirley, Massachusetts. In a request for a contractor drain layer license, KB Aruda Construction Inc., Cambridge, Massachusetts. So I will call on Mr. Curro if we have a motion. I move approval subject to all conditions as set forth. And I will call on Mr. DeCourcy. Second. Have a second. All right. And then any comment, Ms. Mahan? No. Nope. Any comment, Mr. Diggins? No. All right. So I have a motion by Mr. Curl, seconded by Mr. DeCourcy. Attorney Heim. Mr. Um, I'm sorry, folks, my audio and video are a little bit wonky. Hold on one moment. Ms. Mahan. Yes. Mr. Curo. Yes. Mr. DeCourcy. Yes. Mr. Diggins. Yes. Mr. Hurd. Yes. Unanimous vote. All right, we are moving on to item number four on the agenda. So this is a vote to authorize the use of new voting equipment and discontinue existing voting equipment pursuant to Mass General Law Chapter 54, Section 34. Um, do we have anyone that I will. to present on this? Ms. Nahan? Um, I'd like to move that, uh, as required by Mass General Law, Chapter 54, Section 34, we hereby vote the use of the image cast precinct optical ICP tabulator at the presidential election on November 3rd, 2020, and thereafter at all primaries, preliminary elections, and elections held in the town of Arlington until otherwise ordered by vote of the Arlington Select Board, and said electronic voting system shall be used in those polling places designated by the select board and further that the town will discontinue the use of the AccuVote optical scanner in any and all elections held in the town of Arlington after September 1st, 2020. Second. All right. All right. Mr. DeCourcy, any comment? No comment. And Mr. Diggins, any comment? No comment. All right. On a motion by Ms. Mahan, seconded by Mr. Carl. Attorney Heim? Ms. Mahan? Yes. Mr. DeCourcy? Yes. Mr. Diggins? Yes. Mr. Curo? Yes. Mr. Hurd? Yes. Unanimous vote. All right. Next is item number five for discussion and vote. Notice of Board of Registrars vacancy. Attorney Heim. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Um, the long and short of it is that there is a vacancy on the Board of Registrars. Um, the law requires the registrars to maintain essentially an even balance um, with the members of uh, the registrars equally representing uh, uh, each political, ma major political party. You're not allowed to have more than two members of any given party. Uh, to my understanding, at present, the uh, town clerk is a registered Democrat and serves on the Board of Registrars, and the other uh, appointed registrar uh, currently serving, Mr. William Logan, is also a registered Democrat. Mr. John Warden is a registered Republican. Therefore, according to the, uh, to the general laws, uh, the board should formally ask the Republican Town Committee to convene and provide a list of folks uh, that they want considered for the appointment. Uh, if they fail to provide a list, I believe it's within 45 days, you can appoint someone uh, regardless of what that list says, uh, but it still has to be someone who is not enrolled in the Democratic Party because again, you cannot have more than two members of one party on the Board of Registrars. So all I'm looking for tonight is a vote to um, send an official notice to the Republican Town Committee, which the Office of the Select Board can do on your behalf, that uh, we need a list, and preferably as soon as possible. While they have all that time, um, to my understanding, there's a possibility that folks may submit a recount petition with respect to the recent election. 
and accordingly, it's important that um, we have a fully staffed uh, board of registrars. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I, I move to um, to uh, submit the request uh, for a, a list to the Public Town Committee as outlined by Town Council. Thank you. And do I have a second? Second. Second. I think I got Len for a second. Um, Ms. Mahan, any discussion? Um, no, just that it's my understanding that um, the Zoom meeting was going to happen sometime this week with the Re Republican Town Committee. That's okay. my understanding. Mr. DeCourcy, any comments? Uh, no comment. All right. So on a motion by Mr. Carl, seconded by Mr. Diggins, Attorney Heim. Ms. Uh, Mahan. Yes. Mr. DeCourcy. Yes. Mr. Diggins. Yes. Mr. Curo. Yes. Mr. Hurd. Yes. It's a unanimous vote. All right. Moving to item number six, request for approval, modification to design review committee membership in scope. Our town manager, Ms. Chaplin. Thank you, Chair Hurd. Um, so th we talked about this item last week. This is in regard to the design review committee that the board established uh, for the intersection of Mass Ave and Appleton. Uh, very sadly, there was another serious accident uh, at that intersection last night, which only further underscores the need for us to act hastily um, on this matter. Uh, but the modification I wanted to request was twofold. Uh, we received uh, some good suggestions that unfortunately came in after the board's meeting last week. One of them, uh, or at least one of them, is addressed in correspondence received to the board tonight. So I'm asking for the board to uh, make two, I think, very uh, straightforward modifications to the design review committee makeup and scope that was adopted last week. In regards to makeup, um, it was suggested that we should include a representative of the Audison School on the committee, which I think makes perfect sense and was an oversight not including them from the start. Uh, and then in terms of the committee scope, I think looking at the portion of the corridor that the, the design review committee uh, sees as most appropriate to effectuate the safety concerns should be what we're looking at. So in general terms, I'm thinking that we're probably starting at the foot of the rocks where Lowell Street intersects with Mass Ave and going all the way down to where Mass Forest and Burton intersect. I think looking at that stretch of corridor in its entirety makes sense so that whatever improvements we make are are looking at the corridor from a from a usability point, point of view and making sure that we're making the right the, the right improvements to make it as safe as possible. So I would appreciate it if the board would consider uh, favorably approving both of those modifications. Okay. And Mr. DeCourcy, I'll start with you for comments or motions. Yeah, uh, just a quick comment. I appreciate the the um, the modifications being proposed there. And, and uh, unfortunately, as the town manager said, that there, there was a, a, another accident there. So we're hoping that um, once the committee gets going that they, these improvements can be done quickly. Um, I, I didn't quite hear everything that the manager said just because of the problem with the sound. So I don't want to bring the motion because I, I may have missed part of what he said, but I, I did talk to him about it earlier and I support these changes. Yeah. Um, Mr. Chairman, could I just um, interrupt? I'm getting a few texts from people who are watching ACMI at home and they say they can't hear any of us. I apologize for interrupting. I'm yeah. welcome. I have a few of those texts as well. Um, I would put it to, is there anyone from ACMI that can comment on? Or? Yeah, Sean is, uh, Sean Keen is on, on the call. I guess we'll keep going until, we, we're recording, right, Mr. Chair? Correct. Yes. Well, Thank while, you. We're while we're interrupted, can you all see my video? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep. I've lost video, um, so well, I'll just keep going without video uh, rather than log out and log back in. So, so okay, cool. Thank you. Okay. All right, Ms. Mahan, do you have any um, comments yes, or motions? I'd like to, um, as long as Attorney Heim says I can do them both at the same time, to modify the design review committee membership to add a representative from the Audison School and to modify the design review committee scope to include Lowell Street at Mass Ave, Mass Ave at Forest and in Burton, and of course, Mass Ave at Appleton. 
right. Second. Motion and a second by Mr. Carl. And Mr. Carl, any further comments? No, I think these are wise uh, modifications and um, I, I look forward to expeditious action on this. And Mr. Diggins, any comments? Um, well, I, I support the I, mean, I, I am a little concerned. I mean, I, I, I like comprehensive uh, solutions and approaches to things, I mean, but I, I, I think we have to expect though that as we widen the scope, uh, the um, actions probably going to take longer and certainly cost more. And, and I just am concerned about the effect that might have on a quicker remedy, uh, even if it's uh, temporary and low cost on the main intersection that's the problem now, Appleton and, and Mass have. Um, might the um, town manager want to comment on that? Yeah, if that's okay with Mr. Uh, the Chairman. Uh, yeah, no, I, I think that's fair. Um, I guess, I, I think s sitting here right now, I can say that I'll make sure that broadening the scope does not slow down short-term actions. Um, it's certainly, uh, I, 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 you're, you're not wrong that looking at more w would cost more and potentially take a little more time for a longer-term action. But I don't think that broadening the scope uh, to look at the wider corridor for long-term improvements should or would uh, short circuit a short term fix to the Mass Ave Appleton intersection. I, I think we can work through that challenge as you've described it. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. And I would just follow up on that, that, you know, clearly with what's happened the past few months in this intersection shows that there's some improvements that need to be made. And I don't anticipate that this group will just come to us one time with one broad set of recommendations. It will be a series of recommendations, some in the short term and some in the long term. So, all right. So, and uh, ACMI has just said that the audio should be fixed. Okay, thank you. All right, I'm, so get, I'm getting texts about effects. They can hear us now. <laughs> Sorry. Just in time. All right, so we have a motion by Ms. Mahan, seconded by Mr. Carl, Attorney Heim. Ms. Mahan? Yes. Mr. DeCourcy? Yes. Mr. Diggins? Yes. Mr. Kuro? Yes. Mr. Hurd? Yes. All right, so moving on to correspondence received. We have a, rest, or a request for Quick improvements to intersection of Massachusetts Avenue and Appleton from Phyllis C. Fernander, Charlie Proctor's aunt. Charlie Proctor, of course, is the gentleman who unfortunately passed away back in May at that intersection. Request for safety improvements at the intersection of Massachusetts Avenue and Appleton Street for, for Kat Zeeler, 17 and a half Lakeview Street. Requesting improvements to Massachusetts Avenue, Appleton Street, Appleton Place intersection, Sarah Mai Conway, Charlie Proctor's cousin, and suggestions for the Design Review Committee scope of work and membership, Anne LaRoyer, 12 Pierce, Pierce Street, which I believe we will refer these all to the Design Review Committee. All right. Receipt. Second. All right, so we have a motion to receive by Ms. Mahan, seconded by Mr. Curl. Attorney Heim? Ms. Mahan? Yes. Mr. DeCourcy? Yes. Mr. Diggins? Yes. Mr. Curo? Yes. Mr. Hurd? Yes. Unanimous vote. All right. Now we will move. Remain correct in open session for town meeting. Mm -hmm. do, do we have a motion to do so? Um, Mr. Chair? Yep. Um, I'd like to move that um, the select board meeting of Monday, June 15th, hereby is suspended and we will reconvene at the town at the start of our town meeting on June 15th, 2020 at at or around 6 to 6.30 p.m. and that we will remain in session and that the adjournment of this select board meeting will coincide with the adjournment of our regular town meeting. Thank you. Second. Second. 
Second. All right. So we have a motion by Ms. Mahan, seconded by Mr. Carl. Attorney Hein. Ms. Mahan. Yes. Mr. DeCourcy. Yes. Mr. Diggins. Yes. Mr. Kiro. Yes. Mr. Hurd. Yes. All right. Thank you all. We'll see, see you, you all soon. shortly with your masks. All right. With your hands.